Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bree, if you are new here. Um, it's been a long time, but today I wanted to give you guys an updated tutorial really in detail on my everyday makeup, my face with all the new tricks and tips that I've learned within the past year. So um, I'm pretty much using some of the same products, but I've also changed around some of my products. So this is gonna be exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited to be back on YouTube, to feel confident in myself. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. I'm taking the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and I'm using the spoolie side to brush my brows up. And then I'm gonna take the pencil side and just carve the bottom out just to get like an outline of how I want the shape of my brows to be. I've been doing thinner brows lately. They just kind of, I don't know, they, they fit me better. They suit me. Make sure they are the same shape. Look at that, that's two different shapes. This one's high and this one's low. And then I'm gonna take that spoolie side one more time and brush up to kind of blend that line out a little bit. So then I'm going to take my new favorite product the NYX Brow Tint Pen, and this is in the shade Espresso. So it's the same shade as the pencil. I use Espresso. It's dark, but not too dark. It's like a deep brown. Don't get the black. The black gonna look crazy. I'm using this pen to draw really like thin strokes, really hair-like strokes on my brow. I already have really thin brows, so this kind of, this product really works well for me. The further you hold back on the pen, the softer your strokes will be. And then most people do this before, but I like to do it after. I use the NYX Brow Glue. Yes, on my brows, I use NYX. And NYX I trust, okay? This is medium brown, because the espresso one looks wild, wild and just brush those brows into the shape that you want them to be. I'm going to take a concealer that's pretty much the same shade. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And Honey, this is the Morphe M410 brush. And use that to carve underneath the brow. This is gonna clean up any excess smudging, shape it the way I want, and give me that lifted brow that I really love. I'm starting off with the NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer and Base. The whole trick to like a flawless base is skincare. I did my skincare earlier in the day, it's night, so I'm actually going to use this because it's really hydrating and I have relatively dry skin, especially in the winter. But I love this product. It gives you like a really nice glow, a very beautiful finish and it's really hydrating and that's what I love about it. My main focus with this one is gonna be under my eyes to stop that creasing. So then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. This is the one with the niacinamide in it. I like this because it helps with, again, dry skin and and it kind of similar to the milk uh, the milk hydro grip primer so it's really sticky and it will hold that makeup in place like girl so after we finish priming our face we are going to spot correct so i have a lot of hormonal acne going on right now we are actually going to take the la pro girl concealer yes i still use this one um and this is in toffee we are going to spot correct and we are also going to use it to color correct underneath the eye i really like this color because it's neutral but it's not it's not too bad it fits me but it does the spot too when it comes to color correcting so i'm just going to take that in all of my problem areas where i have those dark spots and place it underneath the eye I'm also gonna take this over top of the over lip, you know, the little Martin Luther King area over there. So nothing's changed over here, boo. I am still a brush girly, always using my brushes. This is the e.l.f. concealer brush. I know it, I, I think I erased the words, but I'm pretty sure this is the flawless concealer brush. I am taking that and I am dabbing in circles to give it a more even coverage. I'm gonna save my eyes for last because I want that to be more full coverage. And the longer you let your concealer sit, 
the floor of the coverage. So first I'm starting by dragging and dabbing, like a dab drag motion like this. And I'm doing that on the outer edges first, slowly making my way up to the product. I don't want to diffuse it too much because I still want that coverage to cover my dark circles before I go in with my actual lightning concealer. I'm taking the Rare Beauty bronzer stick in Always Sunny. And I get a little weird with this, but I started, I switched it out where instead of just drawing the lines and then diffusing, I like to brush it directly on the brush. So I'm gonna take that brush and I'm going to diffuse it just like the same area I did before underneath the eye in the same motion. I'm gonna take it into my temple, into my eye, forehead of course. And yes, I use a lot on my forehead. I rarely put foundation on my forehead just because my forehead is really large and heart-shaped foreheads, we wanna take that in. So contour or bronzer will be your friend. And for the jaw, we already have kind of sharp jaws for the heart-shaped face. So I'm not gonna take it too much, but I am gonna focus on going underneath how hard it is right here and a little bit by the ear just to really give some dimension. And then I'm going to take my ankle brush. This is the Morphe E62 in that same motion. And I'm going to take it into the brow. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I am still using the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation in Tahoe. It is my ultimate, ultimate, ultimate favorite. Like if I got to pick a product, I'm taking this, okay? This is my girl and I'm sticking with her. Ooh, look at that, a fresh pump. Now I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Buffing Foundation Brush to just blend that out. Ooh, look at that, look at that coverage. And you can always go more, this is buildable, so it's light to medium, I believe. And I just take that little bit in between the bronzer and where I plan to highlight. Whatever's left and take it to my nose. I try to decrease or not use as much product on my nose because I'd rather not let that area get cakey. To highlight I'm going to take the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Caramel underneath the eye and I'm going to take it to my nose. Mm, I should have took my nose ring off, but it's okay. Of the nose on the bridge. Put a couple dots on the forehead because again, heart-shaped face. We're minimizing the forehead. Two dots on the chin. Three dots above the lip. And then I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is in medium neutral and I am going to put one dot in the corner of my eye. This is going to help with the brightening in the corner. Yes, I use three concealers under my eyes. Trust the process, okay? I have the Real Technique 242 brush. This is supposed to be like a concealer brush and I love the angled shape because it really helps get underneath the eye. Like, look at that. It's uh, flat and angled but it's soft so it helps diffuse the product. I'm going to start with those concealer areas that are anything but my eyes. Then I am going to get right in between. I don't mind doing a dragging motion with this because it's so soft. It's not taking product away. So I'm going to do this in like a crescent moon shape. Inner corner. Take that light concealer down the nose. And I'm going to take that up. Look at that coverage. Look at that lift. Like, it really just brings a lot of dimension back into my face. And then to soften your lines, just take your foundation brush and go in between those two colors where the contour and the highlight were supposed to be. 
and just soften those lines out. All right, so we're just gonna do a light set. I'm going to take the Sephora Micro Smooth in 35 Bronze. I'm going to take my little fluffy triangle puff and I'm just gonna do a light set. I'm also gonna take this and carve out my cheekbone a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're looking snatched, we're looking good. I'm gonna take my Fenty Beauty bronzer and this is in Caramel Cutie. I've actually been really loving this. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm gonna take that right on the cheeks. I'm gonna take this Wet n Wild brush. I like a fluffy brush when I do a bronzer just because it really gives like a soft blend around the nose area. And then I'm going to take my Juvia's Place. Calm down. We melanated over here. I'm gonna take my Juvia Place palette. This is, I don't even know what color this one is. It's real pink, but I love a pink. Love, love, love a pink. So we are gonna take it slow. Um, I'm gonna do more of this one. It's kind of cool toned and I'm okay with that. We're gonna put that in between that bronzer and that concealer. And I'm actually gonna take it into the corner of my eye a little bit. And if you go too much with this blush, just take your foundation brush and go over it with the foundation brush and it'll diffuse it. Now, for my actual set, I am taking my Laura Mercier. Y'all know I love her, but I switched up the powder a little bit. It's the Translucent Honey. This is the Ultra Blur. I had the original formula before, but I really like the Ultra Blur. It is really like soft. Take your hand and you have to smooth it or it's gonna be patchy, trust me. Make sure you get the corners of your nose. I'm gonna kind of use this to bake a little bit. This is like my actual like lightning powder. Take my blush a little bit right here. I'm gonna take this a little better than sex liner. Just the outer corner though. I don't wanna get too crazy. I am going to cat eye. So I actually love the Milani Make It Last Original. Uh, this is the natural finish spray because it really like brings the hydration back into my face. This mascara, my saving grace. It is the e.l.f. Roller Lash, the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. It's the Benefit Roller Lash dupe, and I love her. Like, I love the applicator of this, the little plastic flexi type applicator and it really like helps me get those bottom lashes and the coating is beautiful. We're gonna take that same pressed powder that uh, Sephora Micro Smooth and we're gonna put that over the lips. Really gonna help give us a really nice even base. I'm gonna take my MAC lip liner and this is in cork. This is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in BFF3. Y'all know I love her. And I'm just gonna use that to kind of fill in my lips. I'm gonna take the NARS Afterglow Lip Shine and this is in Devotion. And I'm just going to place that right in the center. And that's it. I really hope you guys like this look. I love it. This is my favorite. This is my go-to look. Like I wear this everywhere if I get a chance. I'll mix it up every now and then, but this is like my staple staple. The perfect base, like skin is flawless. It's giving, hello. But yeah, if you guys are still into makeup videos, you wanna see different looks, let me know below in the comments. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's good to be back. Don't eat me up. I know it's been a year, but it's good to be back. It's good to be home. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on TikTok. I'm actually on TikTok nowadays. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.